Okay, so we have some parametric equations, and we're asked to find the arc length over the interval 0 to pi. So there's a couple ways to do this. So solution 1. The formula for the arc length is the definite integral from a to b of the square root of dx dt quantity squared plus dy dt squared dt. So in this case, here's our x, so dx dt. Well, the derivative of cosine is negative sine, so this will be negative 2 sine t. And here's our y, so the derivative of sine is cosine, so dy dt will be 2 cosine t. So plugging in dx dt and dy dt into our formula, we have the integral from, looks like 0 to 2 pi, right? This is our a, and this is our b. And we have dx dt squared, so negative 2 sine t squared plus dy dt squared, so 2 cosine t squared. And all of this is in a giant square root dt. Let's keep going. So this is the definite integral from 0 to 2 pi. Now, when you square negative 2 sine t, you end up with 4 sine squared t. Likewise here, we're going to get 4 cosine squared t. So 4 cosine squared t. And we still have the giant square root. So we have to somehow integrate this. So let's factor out a 4. So 0 to 2 pi. This will be the square root of 4, square root of sine squared t, plus cosine squared t, dt. And the square root of 4 is 2. So this is 0 to 2 pi, 2. And sine squared plus cosine squared is 1. So it's 2 times the square root of 1, dt. And that's just 0 to 2 pi. 2 dt. We integrate 2, we just get 2t, and we're going from 0 to 2 pi. So in this case, you plug in the 2 pi first, so you get 2 times 2 pi minus 2 times 0. So you end up with an arc length of 4 pi. This is probably the easiest possible arc length problem uh, we could have done. So all you do is you start by computing dx dt, we found that here, and dy dt, and just plug them into the formula, and usually there's some clever way uh, to rewrite things. In this case, we factored out, of, factored out of 4 and used the fact that sine squared plus cosine squared was 1. So there is another way to do this, so let me squeeze it in over here. So solution 2. Notice we can divide x by 2, so that x over 2 is cosine t. And we can divide the y by 2, so that y over 2 is sine t. And then we know that sine squared t plus cosine squared t is equal to 1. And sine squared er, is y over 2, so it's y squared over 4. And here we have cosine, so that'll be x squared over 4. All right, just squaring this one and squaring this one. Multiply by 4, you end up with x squared plus y squared equals 4. It's kind of messy. <laughs> so this is a circle, and it has center 0, 0, and it has radius 2. And so we know that the circumference of a circle is 2 pi r. So r is 2, so you just end up with 2 pi times 2 which is 4 pi. So if you recognize that the parametric equations give you a circle of radius 2, then you know that the circumference of a circle is 4 pi. And that's the same answer we got using the arc length formula from calculus. I hope this helps.